Welcome sa sip9.com. In this video, ipagpapatuloy natin yung ating discussion on quadrilaterals. No? At dito sa video na to, ipaprove natin that the base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. No? So, pag uh, meron tayong isosceles trapezoid, ang definition ng isosceles trapezoid, ibig sabihin, yung kanyang uh, uh, dalawang sides, no? ay, o yung legs niya, no? ay uh, congruent no so from the from the diagram we know that ab no ay congruent sa cd no so from there ah uh, pwede nating i-mark siguro na congruent sila no so that's one fact ah uh, Pwede rin tayo mag-construct ng, ng height, no? O yun ang altitude, no? So, first, we can, uh, siguro, sulat muna natin yung ating uh, proof, no? At yung ating statements and reasons. So, from here, uh, we know that uh, uh, AB is congruent to CD, no? And yung reason niyan, of course, definition of a of a trapezoid. Of an isosceles trapezoid. So, pag isosceles trapezoid, legs are congruent. Therefore, AB is congruent to CD. Trapezoid. Uh, second, we have to we can construct uh, construct BE and CF CF perpendicular O oh, siguro construct altitude na lang no construct altitude construct altitudes BE and CF. No? So, by construction ito. Anong reason nito by construction? Hindi ko na masyadong isusulat kasi mahaba ito. So, ibig sabihin ng by construction is given a line. Line segment or a line. And the point. So, this is a point. You can construct a uh, no? a line which is uh, perpendicular to this line and passing through that point. No? So, by construction yan. Pwede natin yan gawin. So, next. No? Pag na-construct na natin, alam natin that uh, PE no? is o alam natin na BEA BEA is congruent to BEA is congruent to this angle, no? BEA is congruent to C, F, E, C, F, T. Maybe measure. Measure of angle BEA is equal to the measure of angle C, F, T, which is equal to 90 degrees. No? Because altitude, altitude siya eh. So, since ang, ang ano nito, ang definition, ni, ang reason nito is that BE and CF are perpendicular. To AD. So, pag perpendicular siya, ibig sabihin 90 degrees siya, which is between 90, uh, 90 degrees yung mga angles na yan. What else? Therefore, therefore, Triangle PEA and triangle B CFT are right triangles. No? Okay? So, napatunayan na natin right triangle yan kasi 90 ka naman. No? So, definition to ng right triangle, yung ating reason. 
pag may pag meron kang triangle at meron isa sa mga yan ay right angle, automatic right triangle na yan. Yan ay ibig sabihin ng definition ng right triangle. Okay? Siguro number natin ito para hindi masyadong Again, siguro natin ang number. So, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4. Okay, so meron na tayong right triangle. But we know also that BE is congruent to CF, no? Ano yun? Bakit ganun? Bakit siya congruent? Because pwede natin i-reason dyan ay distance between parallel lines are congruent. No? So, distance between two parallel lines is constant. Ibig sabihin, kahit saan ka, mag, ka maglagay ng segment dito na basta perpendicular siya, Kasi yun yung distance, di ba? Yun yung definition ng distance. Dapat perpendicular. Kasi pwede ka naman maglagay ng pag eh. So, constant yan. So, ibig sabihin, BE is congruent to CF. So, what else? So, kung makikita nyo, meron tayong right triangle, meron tayong isang hypo, yung hypotenuse niya, no? ay congruent. Tapos yung isang leg niya ay congruent. So, ibig sabihin, this triangle is congruent to this triangle by the hypotenuse leg theorem. The triangle PEA is congruent to triangle CFT. This is by hypotenuse leg theorem. But therefore, angle BAE huh? -A -E is congruent to angle C, D, F. Bakit? Dahil corresponding angle sila, di ba? Ang corresponding angle nito is ito. Tapos, ang corresponding, corresponding angle nito ay ito. Corresponding angle nito ay ito. So, therefore, they are congruent because they are corresponding angles. So, corresponding parts, yung C, fixian na lang natin. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Diba? So, naalala nyo ito. So, therefore, uh, we have proven that the base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. Okay, so I hope meron kayo natunan sa ating video na ito. Maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.